I love going to Goodwill. So whenever I am out of town, like last weekend, I went to visit some family, I always check where I'm going to see if they have any Goodwills. Well, this one happened to have a Goodwill computer store, which if you've watched the channel for a long time, about two years ago, I went to this exact same one and found some pretty cool stuff. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead Head out to that computer store, see what I can find, and show you what a Goodwill computer store looks like. If you are not quite sure what a Goodwill computer store is, I'll explain it to you. So this is pretty much a Goodwill that only sells computer parts and electronics. Now what happens is the area around it, if there's any Goodwills, they will actually send all their electronics and basically tech stuff to this Goodwill computer store where they will go ahead and test it and see can we sell it or will they have to recycle it or throw it in the garbage. So basically it has all of the stuff that didn't kind of make it to the other stores because it was an electronics item. So uh, all of it kind of tends to go here and so it could be a really good place to look for games and stuff like that. So when I walk in this one on the right hand side, I see a bunch of computer monitors. There is a few computers just like the towers kind of next to them. And then in the back, there are more monitors, a bunch more monitors and some laptops. Now also they have gaming consoles, which is pretty awesome because you can find like PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3s, Xbox, Xbox original or Xbox 360 and Xbox original. And that's pretty much what you see there. Now, I saw that there was a few PlayStation 2s and I saw that a PlayStation 3 was there and some Xbox 360s and some cords for it. I walked around the store a little bit more. They had some ink cartridges and a bunch of movies and DVDs and whatnot. And then they had a little section of games, which uh, the majority of the games were just in uh, like discs and sleeves. So usually if I find one that's good, I'll pick it up, but there wasn't anything here that was worth picking up. So I went ahead and passed on that right away, but I did look through, they had some retro games, but nothing that I needed. And so I went to the front desk kind of counter where it's glass and they have a few things underneath. And I ended up picking up something out of here, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But the area kind of had some knickknacks, like random miscellaneous like tech stuff. There's some like calculators, there's controllers like for the Xbox 360. There are like little Game Boy Advance games, which were all like rats and they weren't any games that I wanted to pick up. Let's, let's be honest here. And then there was some other stuff there. So they had cables and all that cool stuff. So if you really live near a Goodwill computer store, I say you check it out. There are always awesome to go into and usually I can find at least some cords or something awesome that I can use. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about what I did pick up. So I ended up picking up three things while I was at this Goodwill store. And as you can tell, I've still got it in the bag, but it's ripping. So let's go ahead and get through this pretty quickly. I'm gonna set it down and kind of go through it and try not to lose or drop anything. First off, like I said, they had calculators up kind of towards the front. This is a TI-84 Plus, which is worth like 50 to 60 bucks. It was only 27 bucks. And so I ended up picking it up so I could hopefully make some money in case something in here I bought doesn't work because there's one risky item. We'll, we'll get to that. Uh, let's put this aside. Next, I ended up picking up uh, because I wanted to show you guys kind of what you could get from there. I ended up picking up a PlayStation 2 and it is really dirty, but it came with the power cord. It came with um, AV cords and then uh, uh, like a Mad Cats controller. Nothing great, but I figured worst comes to worst, we could go ahead and plop this down and test it out and see what it's all about. Now I noticed on the back that all of the warranty uh, seals are still good. So uh, that means at least no one had opened it up. So we're gonna test that in a bit. And then last but not least, I said I got something that might not work, and that's very true. As I knock things over, bear with me, but I ended up picking up this PlayStation 2 Slim. This was only $6, and it said not reading discs. So, of course, I had to pick it up and see whether or not I could use it. Now, it looked like 
no one had broke the seal on this either so I'm very interested to see if we could get either one of these to work so let's go ahead and find out if these were good pickups or if they're bad okay so I am gonna go ahead and start with this PlayStation 2 slim I've got a PlayStation 2 already hooked up here and I've got the power cord so um, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it all up and we'll see if we can get this thing to at least read something I've already gone ahead and dropped the controller, so that's always awesome. Um, I'm gonna leave this PlayStation up here. Uh, we'll get to it in a bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and start this thing up and see if we can figure out if this thing is going to work. Now, I'll turn it on and then I'll put the disc in. Uh, we'll try both ways with the disc in when it starts, when it with it out. We'll try all of that stuff because I really want to see if I can get Simpsons Hit and Run to actually work on this thing. Okay, sadly, it looks like that thing is not going to read, which is a bummer. Maybe I'll have to take some time and figure it out later, but let's go ahead and switch over to the PlayStation 2 that was 25 bucks and see if that one will even work. So we've got this one that's all wrapped up. I wanted to wait to unwrap it to prove to you that this is the one that I'm unwrapping. Now, I'm not gonna use all their cords and stuff because the ones I have, I know work. So when I'm testing stuff, I tend to use the things that I have. So this controller, which has broken sticks, I'll probably just give away or something. Um, but to be honest, I'm interested to see if thing, this thing even turns on. I don't have a clue and we'll have to figure that out. We got the game in, we got the game in. Let's see if we can get everything set up and working. That cord that I'm using isn't the greatest, so if it's flickering, it's probably because of that. Um, but I wanna at least try to play something with this because uh, 25 bucks for a PlayStation 2 is a pretty good deal, especially because it came with the cables and uh, it had been tested. So I anticipate this to work, um, give me just a second because the load screen on this thing is going to take forever. So we will go ahead and see if we can get this to work and play some of it. Well, it looks like the PlayStation 2 worked, so I'm pretty stoked about that. So let's go ahead and talk about what I think about these Goodwill computer stores. The Goodwill computer store that I went to was actually pretty decent. Now. I did pick up a good amount of stuff. I've got that PlayStation 2 for 25 bucks and it works. I'm happy about that. Uh, the Slim, I'm gonna have to figure out if maybe I can fix it, but for now, uh, I'm chalking it up as a loss. And then the calculator works. I just don't wanna show it to you guys. You're bored about that. But the calculator will make enough money to cover the PlayStation 2 Slim that didn't work. So that is why I ended up picking it up. So would I go to this store again? Yes. Would I go to this store every week? No. I would probably go to this store maybe once a month, maybe once every two or three weeks. But I don't think this is a store that you go to all the time because it seems like they just had a few things of this and a few of that. But if they're putting out PlayStation 2s for 25 bucks and I was able to sell them for maybe like 40 bucks, that's definitely a no brainer. So. Uh, that's what I think about this Goodwill store. I think it's pretty cool to have the computer sp store aspect of it. But overall, I'm pretty happy with what I ended up picking up. Now, there were other things like those controllers in the cases. They were all busted and broken. Like the nubs on the, the sticks were messed up. So I just passed those up. But if you saw anything else that I missed in this video, comment down below and let me know. But for the most part, that's all I got. If you like this video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, all that cool stuff. But that's all I got for you tonight. Peace.